teman-teman. What's up, everybody? Hello. We're so live Welcome right now. Welcome to lunch with the doc. Right. Yet again, another amazing, amazing time that we have planned for you guys today. So welcome. If you're joining us live, thank you for being here. Um, we just invite you guys to be really interactive during our lunch today. And um, <laughs> so I was like right under the light, and I was like looking at myself in the camera. I was like, whoa, my face looks like it's about to fall off. So, um, yes, be interactive with us today. Catherine is on. Hi, Catherine. We love you. We love so when you join us love. on the Wednesdays. So, yes, be interactive. Ask us questions. Um, Mama Lisa is going to be here with us today. Dr. Lisa, to yep. many of you, Mama Lisa to us, and to many, many of, of you, you too. also. Yep. And, um, she is a mother to many. She is a mother to many. She's going to be sharing her amazing pesto sauce, which is raw fresh it has oh, so much dang. basil so many fresh herbs that are so oh, good for your body herbs. so lots of good um, fresh herbs amazing things to take today she's mm -hmm. about to join mm -hmm. us um but we're just kind of introducing the day so um welcome happy wednesday this is our favorite day favorite me and raya day. we're just saying we love, love what we do oh. we love wednesdays <laughs> we what we do wednesday both started with w so you know i was close we were close Far from but me. Not mm -hmm. as good as Garth and Cat yet. Yeah, we gotta we gotta keep working on that. So Okay. Here we are. So Mama Lisa. Hello. Here she is. Hello. Hello. The Lunch sweet with the duck. princess. The sweet, sweet mommy. May thirty first and I'm wearing wool. That's how that's how cold wow, it is today. It I is know. a little chilly. Okay, so today we're gonna make another sauce. We made pot thai two weeks ago, pot thai sauce, mm -hmm. and it was raw and it was delicious because sauces are go to, yes. quick, pour on meat, pour on vegetables, pour on rice, anything quick, yummy, fun. So we're making yummy. pesto today. Um so with this pesto, if you go to Trader Joe's. You can either buy a clam shell, is that what they're called? A clam? Uh, of pesto, how they come at Trader Joe's, just the big plastic, you put the whole thing in there. You mean basil? Yes, a basil. a basil. You put the whole thing in there. Since this I picked from my garden. What? I'm eyeballing. Can you show us that really quick before yes. we start? Can yes, you yes, just... yes. So we'll go out to my little basil garden, my, my herb garden. This is, there is something very special about growing your own well, herbs, we'll this. your own food. It's very important. Spring is sprung in the Spring backyard. Yes. Okay, so little herb garden, we have lots of basil, we have some dill, we have some chives, we have some thyme, and we have some volunteers. A um, couple tomatoes, and then, this is some sort of squash, maybe it's a pumpkin, I don't know. But one yeah. of the things I want to say about basil is, is that you can see very few bugs attack basil. Mm. And so it is known as being um, an antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal food and herb and essential oil. So mm. it can be used as essential oil for slight rashes, you know, that are bacterial or viral. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing is geranium also. This is growing right here is another plant that never gets any bugs on it, and it can be used the essential oil too. Wow! Lice. When you guys had lice yes. when you were kids, I remember geranium that. oil, oh, lavender yeah. oh, oil. I remember that. So the essential so oils of, of geranium and basil are, can be used medicinally. Mm. Okay, so that's where I picked my basil today. So pretty plants, medicine. And that came, those basil Earth plants medicine. came from Trader Joe's. I just put them in the ground. Oh. Yeah, That's amazing. pretty easy. Anybody can do that. Yeah, where it's nice and hot and warm. They like hot and warm. Hot and warm. So see, these things are just simple. You guys can all do it. Do it. Okay, so we're going to go, since I picked the basil, we're going to go eyeballing it about halfway full, okay? Then we only have, I think, five ingredients in this. Basil, pine nuts, um, cheese, pecorino cheese, um, olive oil, and lemon juice. And garlic. And garlic. Oh, I forgot to get my garlic out. Thank you. Garlic is very important. Okay, so with this recipe, fill it half with the basil. Fill the blender half with basil? Fill the blender half with basil. Okay. A cup of pecorino cheese. 
Pecorino cheese. Pecorino cheese. A cup. A cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shredded. Shredded. Half a cup of pine nuts. Okay. Full lemon. Full, Full lemon. lemon. Full lemon. This came from the backyard too, this lemon. Mo, what are you doing? So I am doing zucchini spiraline. Something, whatever you call it. Zucchini spiraline? Yes, yeah, something like to that. To make zucchini noodles? To make zucchini noodles. Zucchini so spiraline. So instead of putting this pesto on pasta like most people do, what we're going to do is put it on zucchini noodles. So it's lower carb, get more vitamins and nutrients from the zucchini, nutrients. get your veggies in, and it is very yummy. So this is um, called a vegetti, this little thing that makes spirals. And you can get these, um, you know, lots of places. And they're cooking awesome stores. cooking stores. They're so fun because look how it comes out. Just, there's, got, you got all your little noodles coming out right what there. What else have you tried on there, Maria? What other vegetables have you tried? Well, we've done, let's see. Celery root. Celery root. Which is very hard to do. You have to work really hard. Yes, that is very hard. Celery root. Um, turnips. Turnips. Mo, well, let's hear your story about turnips. So, um, you know, I, I have not always been called the funniest person in the family. It's okay. I have a lot of great competition. My brother and sister, sisters are all very fun. Um, but I've always really wanted to be funny and to get that affirmation from my mom that I'm a funny one. So, because <laughs> you know, it's, it's just never been one of my main strengths that I've talked about. So this one day we were talking about turnips and how you know turnips really get looked over, like. Why does no one talk about how amazing turnips are? Because they're an amazing vegetable and you can do a lot with them. So we were talking about, okay, what would the turnips like slogan campaign name be if we just started this whole thing about turnips? And I was like, I think it would be turnip. And my mom just started cracking up. And I was like, monumental moment. <laughs> I really was just so stoked. And she was like, Maria, you are so funny. And I was like, yes. I've been waiting to hear those words from my mom for years. So that was, that was a, that was a moment. That was a great moment. <laughs> Very needed moment in right. my own health. Write that one down in your journal, did yeah. you? Go back and read it every other day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just read, Same. My comfort. mom thinks I'm funny. My mom thinks I'm funny. Okay. Yeah. Moving back to pesto. Okay. Okay. Pine nuts. So wait, what did you do? What so, did you put in there? Okay, so I put in half of a cup of pine nuts. I got these at Trader Joe. Oh, sorry, Costco. Organic pine nuts. You can also get them at Trader Joe's. They're raw. And I just put a half a cup in here. I put in three cloves of garlic. Put in some salt and pepper. A whole lemon. Then my cheese, I just want to show you my cheese. Pecorino. Pecorino, this one's made from sheep cheese. And then also you can get a big, huge block at Trader Joe's. It's also, I'm sorry, Costco. It's also made with sheep's cheese. And I just kind of wanted to talk about sheep's cheese really quickly. I want to show you these four, four different sheep cheese that you can find easily and choose. And then what you're doing sheep. is you're mixing up your milks and you're not just getting all your milk from cow and you know they say that to get your phytonutrients from many different vegetables is so beneficial well why not with cheese why can't you mm -hmm. pick some goat why can't you pick some sheep why can't you pick some cow then you're mixing it up people that are a little bit lactose that are lactose intolerant eat more easily tolerate goat's milk goat's milk is higher in protein it has it's higher in um vitamins and um it has way more whey protein so it and it's sometimes easily more easily digestible so here mm -hmm. is one sheep cheese that you can find both at costco and trader joe's it's really delicious it's one of my favorite cheeses. yes that is delicious so petite bosco we love that then also this manchego this one's from costco you can find manchego at trader joe's also and they're 100 percent sheep's cheese and then this 
I found at Costco, and that's pure sheep milk, and that's feta, and it's Ooh. really good. And they also have sheep feta at Trader Joe's also. Is so, sheep the same as a lamb? Yes. A lamb mm. is a baby sheep. And so what do you call a sheep with no legs? A rug? A cloud. A cloud. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Nice. Okay. I asked mom that like last week and she said a rug too. Because <laughs> I'm stuck on the rug. Okay. Um, so <laughs> that's that's one thing that's really good about, about goat cheese. Also, goat cheese has m more uh, medium chain triglycerides. Ooh. Do you know about medium chain tri triglycerides? Um, that is a good question. What's I a triglyceride? It's a triglyceride a, would be a type of fat. Good. Whoopsie. Oops. So the medium chain triglycerides um, have a little more substance and so they're they go right to being burned for energy. So they actually mm. increase your metabolism, and that's one mm. thing they talk about with what um, the the coffee that we make in the morning. Bulletproof. Oh, Bulletproof yeah. has a lot of medium chain triglycerides. Those fats go directly to your liver and are used for energy. Mm -hmm. And also medium chain triglycerides are also antibacterial and good for your gut. Wow. Mm. I know. Isn't that amazing? Great news. I know. It is great news. So that's one, another thing that's great about um, sheep's milk is that it has more medium chain triglycerides, good for your metabolism. Okay, so this next part of the process So this is, is very important. important. Okay, so you saw I put all the dry ingredients plus the lemon juice in there. Now, with the olive oil, which we are using three quarters of a cup, we are gonna turn on our veggie mix, or what is this one called, Vitamix, and it's gonna be really loud, and while it's on, I'm gonna slowly pour in the olive oil. So I'm going to get this to mix a little bit and then slowly pour in the olive oil. It's like a ninja turtle. Mm, so, yeah. um, I'd say yes, we had great success. It tastes perfect. Amazing. Yes. So that's done. Maria's going to spiral these a little bit more. And then what we're going to do it up. is we'll put them in a, in it it a skillet with a little, <laughs> and a little water Yummy. and steam them up. A little oil, a little water, steam them up. These are just so right up, let's go over the the proportions of those ingredients again, one more time. I gotta try this. Wow. Wow. So, proportions. Half a blender full of basil, um, half of a cup of pine nuts, one cup of pecorino, one whole lemon, squeezed, three garlic cloves, and three quarters of a cup of olive oil. Mm. Salt and pepper. Remember to slowly pour in the olive oil at the end and it'll all mix up super well. And how easy was that? So what do you so like easy. what do you like to um, couple this sauce with? So I have some sausages in the oven that I'm just cooking up quickly. We we put that pesto with salmon, we put it with chicken, even with beef, but chicken chicken and fish it's really, really good with is salmon and salmon. Or if you just want to do some sausages and some pasta, if you want to do some zucchinis, you know, that's usually what we use. Actually, I had it this morning because I made it yesterday. I had it on eggs. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just cooked up some quick eggs and put some um, pesto with it. I gave that to Ellie for breakfast today. And if you don't like, if you're not very much of a green eater, if you don't really like get very many greens, what a great way to get your greens. Mm, just right? blend them. Just blend them with some cheese. Who doesn't like that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 
I think that's good, Mo. So what about the brown rice pasta that you make? So the brown rice mm. pasta, um, we since none of us eat gluten here. Except me. Except you. Um, I get it at Trader Joe's. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at Mother's Market. Um, brown rice pasta is really good and delicious, and we do it all the time. One of the things is brown rice pasta is a little bit different than gluten pasta. You have to watch it and stir it more often. That's all the difference it is. Mm. And, um, but it turns out fantastic. It doesn't taste very different either. No, it doesn't taste very different at all. So... That's kind of one of the staple meals here at the Arthur House, huh? Yes, it is. We like sauces. We do. Yes. I like mm -hmm. sauces. Yeah, sauces are good. So we're just going to really quickly, I just put some water in here and a little bit of olive oil. We'll salt and pepper it. And um, only takes a couple, a couple minutes, maybe three, to just get these to lightly cook. And I smell our sausages, and they're almost ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you see, this lunch is, or dinner, is going to take us a total of maybe, maybe half an hour. Mm -hmm. Especially with pre, already pre-cooked sausages. It's so easy. So this is a quick meal for moms on the go. Easy and easy, healthy. Easy and healthy. That's what we want. You kind of got to love that, huh? Yeah. Got to love that. Because most people think that if you're going to cook healthy, it's going to take you half of the day. Yes. No, this is a very quick meal that could be one of your one of your staples. You could you could make it once a week. Mm-hmm. Moss? Whoa. Yes. I finish it up. And if we don't um, use this, in, if we don't eat all this today, I'm making chicken tortilla soup tonight. And it calls for zucchini, and we can just slap that in. And here's my bone broth. Oh. My bone broth is. Yeah. Bone. You guys didn't see that coming. That was a full surprise. She just pulled out a left field just to blow your mind. Yeah, so this bone broth has been on the stove for over 24 hours. Yeah. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's been cooking on the stove for 24 hours? Yep, on low. What? 24 to 48 hours is a good amount of time for bone broth. Wow. Cooking. So with this bone broth, I've got chicken bones in there. Wow. I've got a bunch of herbs. I've got. Where do you get the chicken bones? Chicken bones, I always, whenever I cook a chicken, I always make a whole chicken. Always. So that I can have bones afterwards. Really? Always. So, what do you do? What do you, what, explain. So, I just buy a whole chicken. I dress it a little bit with salt and pepper and garlic. This is good. Underneath it. And then I put it in my clay baker. Clay Baker. So if you guys sounds like a name. If you guys want the best chicken on the planet, if yes. you guys like a roast chicken, it's one of my favorite favorite things to ever eat. It's called a Clay Baker. You can get it at Sur La Table. And what you want to do is you want to soak it in water for 10 minutes. Take it out. Your chicken's already dressed and whole. All you need to do is just put the chicken right in there. Put it in a cold oven. Turn it to 450. And an hour and a half to two hours later, you have the best roast chicken than any any chef could ever cook. Mm -hmm. So I and I save my bones, mm -hmm. and then I make my bone broth. Bone broth is super high in sulfur, and sulfur is one of the best things for detoxification of your of your for your liver, mm. and it helps rebuild cartilage. You need sulfur to help build, rebuild cartilage. Mm. So, so what do you think about doing bone broth cleanses? I think bone broth, broth cleanses are fantastic because you're getting some nutrients. You're not totally starving your body of nutrients. nutrients. And um, it it's, gives your digestive system a well-needed rest. Mm. And then your body can go to work and detoxify. Okay, okay, so then we have some sausages here. Some spinach feta sausages. Ooh. So, lunch is ready. Lunch is ready. Okay, Maria, why don't you right. serve some of those zucchinis on you? I got the plates. Oh, perfect. Serve some zucchini. Zucchini. I'll put a sausage on there. So today you guys learned how to do pesto. You also learned about zucchini noodles, which are very tasty and very easy. This whole meal took my mom 30 minutes. She loves cooking. And, uh, and you learned about bone broth. Oh, yeah, bone very broth. That was huge. Very healthy and important. 
One, um, one of these days we should do a one um, lunch with the doc on just bone broth and how to make it and all the ins and outs of okay. making the best bone broth because you make it about once a week. I do. Mm -hmm. So healthy for you. So lots of amazing stuff that everybody learned, huh? And we can post, we will post the recipe yes. for the pesto sauce. Maybe later today on Facebook and Instagram. Yes, so let's just uh, pour this beautiful sauce all over our noodles. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, pesto oh. glory. Woo! Maybe. Got the raw garlic in there. Super good if you're sick. Helps fight infection. So good for you. Oh, this is just glorious. Wow. Mm -hmm. So anybody out there have any questions, comments? Do you want to ask Dr. Lisa a question while you have her here in front of your screen? Oh, I thought I dropped some. We are open to questions, open to comments. That's what's so great about these live videos. We love it. All right. Well, no one's uh, saying anything. All right, well, Mom, come say our goodbyes. Another amazing lunch with the duck. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And um, if you would like to see anything special being cooked or done, all we, you can always put in a request. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. We'll yeah. Do it for you. How fun or would a that topic be? to talk about and answer questions. Just let us know. Yep. We're, we're here for you every Wednesday, 1230. We love it. We hope you love it. And you know what? You're amazing. Health and Balance loves you. Come join us for Health and Balance. If you're working through any health challenges and you want to see what's going on, come in. We do a full exam. The doctors are amazing and our team just takes a look at you um, from all their different specialties and gives you a plan forward um, into change. And When's our solving. next workshop? Our next workshop is on the 21st, June 21st. We will be having a Lose the Weight, Summer's Looking Great workshop. I made up the name. Raya thinks it's corny, but I love it. And um, it's going to be awesome. We're talking about genetic weight loss, which is just amazing. There's a lot of new um, techniques and uh, research out about genetic weight loss. And it's supposed to be three times faster than any conventional approach because you basically take a look at your genes and find out what's going to be the best diet and type of workout for you to be at the weight that you want to be and at a healthy place. So we'll be talking about that on June 21st at 6.30. So if you want more info, you can go to our events page on our website, healthandbalance.com, and sign up there. So we'd love to have you join us for that. And join us next week on Lunch with the Doc. Okay. Awesome. Peace. Bye.